Hello everyone. This video demonstrates the tutorial for installing the Nbox Cloud Appliance. So to install the appliance, you will need an Ubuntu SSO account, a machine running Ubuntu 2204, and your Ubuntu Pro token. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use a multipass virtual machine as my demo machine. Let me switch over to the terminal. So I have already created a virtual machine using multipass, which you can see use a multipass list. I have a couple of machines running. Let me shell into the one that I want. And I have also configured my Ubuntu Pro token as an environment variable in this machine for the purpose of this demo. So the very first step that I'm going to do is to attach this machine to Ubuntu Pro by running sudo pro attach and this is where i'll be using my pro token instead of dollar token remember to use yours so it's asking me to sign in using this urp and also provides a code let me switch back to my browser as you can see unbox cloud basically ubuntu pro comes with a uh, a free personal token which can be used for personal use on five machines and that's the same that is used by Anbox Cloud as well. So let me just copy the code and paste it here which will allow me to successfully attach my machine. Done. So let's switch back to the terminal and you can see that the process is going forward. Okay, this machine is now attached to Ubuntu Pro with my free personal subscription. So the next step for me is to enable the Anbox Cloud service. So I'm going to do that with sudo pro enable Anbox Cloud. So this step installs all the necessary tools and dependencies like SnapD, LexD, and then installs the Unbox Cloud Appliance Snap itself from the latest stable track. And it also configures certain necessary repositories. Okay, now the service is enabled, but you will still need some packages in Unbox Cloud specific kernel modules and maybe GPU driver packages if your deployment involves a GPU. So to get all that, Anbox Cloud provides a script that helps you prepare the machine. So I'm going to use that script with Anbox Cloud Appliance Prepare Node Script. I'm not executing it yet, I'm just reviewing it with this command. Now that I can see what modules it's going to install and I'm okay with it, I'm going to execute the script. The installation process itself is fairly quick. It takes maybe a couple of minutes. And when the script is applied, the installation is complete. And then we can start with initializing the appliance. So I'll initialize the appliance with appliance in it. So when we are initializing the appliance, you'll be asked a bunch of questions. Unless you have specific requirements for networking or LXD storage pools, it's fine to stick with the default answers, which is what I'll be doing for this demo. Starting from the IP address to everything about configuring LXD, clustering, I'm just pressing enter to accept the defaults. And the final step is that configuration is completed and I'm going to accept starting the bootstrap process now. Okay, now initialization is completed. All services are ready to be used. So if I check the local machines IP address and access that. So I'm copying the IP address and let me switch over to my browser and if I access this with HTTPS and accept the warning, I want to proceed to the machine, I can see the dashboard. But one last step is that you have to register your email address with the dashboard before you can log in and work with the appliance dashboard. So I'm copying this. Let's switch back to the terminal and I'm going to replace this with my email address. 
and now I'm registered. It provides me a link that I can open with my browser and finish my registration. Let me switch back. So as you can see, I'm logging Ubuntu one into the machine. And there we go. I can create new instances and new applications and explore Unbox Cloud. Thanks for watching this demo. Have a nice day. Thank you.